Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. This will be a decode of Pastor Dana Coverstone's newest video, which he calls the Hold Your Breath Dream. And it's very serious. It's very sobering warning to America that Joe Biden is about to become our next president. And this will be a disaster as far as turning our nation into a socialist slash communist country. Now, as you know, in the last dream that I decoded, which he called his data dream, we saw Joe Biden as a corrupt politician in the rotunda being reverenced by all the congressmen and senators. And he was described as a coffin or a casket. And that's because he is filled on the inside with corruption. And we found out that this information about him will be presented through probably the internet, some kind of a data stream, between Thanksgiving and December 17th. However, it would appear that President Trump, who is still, will be still president at that time, decides not to prosecute him, probably because he's won election, although he still should prosecute him, and he has probably decided to pardon him for his crimes. So now in this particular dream, called the Hold Your Breath Dream, Dana Coverstone shows the aftermath of the election and what America will be like post a Biden victory in November. So let's read what uh, Dana Coverstone received. I believe this is from the Holy Spirit. And therefore it has to be decoded because it's apocalyptic prophecy. So I've divided these up into various verses. Uh, these verses were not the way Dana Coverstone divided it up, but it, it makes it easier for me to understand the prophecy, and I think for you also. Verse number one. I dreamt that I saw people all over America during the daylight hours. Now this is a timestamp. In various places, I saw people in Wall Street, suits and ties. I also saw people at church. I saw people at the park. This indicates that this is summertime. I saw people at high school games, probably baseball and so on. Uh, this would be outdoors. This is not wintertime. I saw people at malls. I just saw just normal people doing normal things. It looked more normal than before COVID, as you can imagine. So I believe this is the post-election time period. Certainly, Dana Coverstone is not being shown the current time period when we are all wearing masks and under this COVID hoax. People are back to normal. And this is, I believe, because uh, after Biden wins, he will declare a victory over COVID. And this fake news will be supported by the media because they want to portray Biden as a hero of some kind. Some kind. Uh, we will find out that all of their shenanigans will not work and communism is about to come to America. Verse number two. Nobody was wearing masks. There were no concerns as to disease or illnesses or anything going on. People were acting like 2020 had never happened. This is another timestamp. And then suddenly a lot of those people started to look up like they heard something. So when I say that 2020 is another timestamp, that's because we are probably in 2021. We are looking back at 2020. This is definitely post-election prophecy. And the peaceful calm, the calm before the storm, won't last long, as we are about to see. And uh, people are evidently receiving an interior warning. Now, they look up to heaven, so the, the warning comes from God, but it's not, it's not a public warning. Uh, not everyone hears this warning. Uh, and uh, I don't think that 
the Biden uh, presidency can hold off what's coming. The the you know, the f uh, fake news cannot uphold the incompetent Joe Biden forever, and something bad is about to happen to America. Verse number three. There was no noise in the dream that I heard. I saw people just look up suddenly and like looking around them. But a bunch of them just took a deep breath like they were holding their breath, like they were about to jump into the water or something. So I think he calls them a lot of them or a bunch of them, but there's a division between people who are aware of what is going to happen and those who don't have a clue. I suspect the ones who are aware of what's going to happen are we Trump supporters because we knew that Biden was totally incompetent and a criminal and that he is not going to be able to hold back socialism. He will, in fact, aid socialism coming into this country. And the water these people are about to jump into, I think you will see, represents this communist stream overflowing. America. And we are going to discover that um, this dream of Dana Coverstones lines up with a prophecy which George Washington received. Remember, a beautiful woman uh, visited George Washington at Valley Forge and gave him a prophecy of the future of the Republic, as she called it, and including these end times. And we will see that there's a quite a strong correlation. Verse number four. And other people had not heard anything, though. And there were people like the person talking to me. Just kept talking, looking at me as if they couldn't tell. I was holding my breath. They just kept talking and engaging with me. So Dana Coverstone is one of those holding their breath. In other words, he is one of these elect few. I shouldn't say few. I suspect about half and half. I think Trump supporters will be shown what's coming. And we already know what's coming. It's the Biden supporters that don't have a clue of what his pre presidency means for this country. And I don't believe this is the famous warning that's going to be given to Catholics because that's the whole world that receives that. That's called the great warning. I think this is a warning that occurs before then. So now verse number five. Other people, once again, were looking. Those people who looked around saw something coming and heard something, felt something, sensed something, took a deep breath and were holding it. Everybody else just kept doing what they were doing. They were not even aware that people around them were holding their breath. So we see this division between what I call Biden supporters who don't have a clue what his election meant, and Trump supporters, we know, we know to expect communism coming to this country. Verse number six, and the people holding their breath were not straining by any means, not hurting to hold it in. They were just very calmly watching the landscape around, eyes watching, looking around, holding their breath at what was happening. Uh, verse number seven. Then I saw waves of water coming over the landscape and the surrounding mountains. The boundaries of the United States of America were mountains. So take the outline from California all the way to New York. The boundary of the entire nation was all mountains. I think those two states are significant and not only because they are on the east coast and the west coast, because, but because they are also two states which are overwhelmingly pro-Democrat, pro-Biden, pro-Socialist. Verse number eight. And coming over the mountains was water. And now, not like tsunami waves, not like rushing waves, just water, just steady water. And it was just a brilliant blue, like ocean water. It wasn't dirty. It wasn't murky. It wasn't clear and transparent. It was just blue. Just blue ocean water coming over slowly. And it was like the water was going to fill up the pool of the mountains 
around the United States of America. Now he emphasizes this blue because he doesn't want you to think that it's anything other than blue. That's the most important thing. This is the color. And that aids our understanding of the prophecy. What we are seeing here is a Democrat landslide. This is a blue wave, meaning the Democrats are going to sweep the upcoming election. And this is common in the media. They, they call a Democrat landslide a blue wave, or a Republican landslide would be called a red wave. And I think what we see is that the people are living normally, as we saw at the beginning. But, because, but if Trump had won, the COVID hoax would have continued indefinitely. So that's why I think that this is showing Biden's victory. Now this vision is very similar to George Washington, Washington's vision, as I said before. In Washington's vision, though, the wave was a red wave indicating communism. Now, the Lord has changed it here because if he made it a red wave, which would be communism, he had to make it blue so that we understood that it came about through the Democrat Party. If this was a, described as a red wave of water, we would know that it was republicanism, but of course it's not. This is a Democrat uh, landslide. Verse number nine. Now, the people who were holding their breath acted like they hadn't seen anything scary coming. We're not surprised at this. The people holding their breath were not worried. We're not scared. We're not leery. We're not panicking. We are the real Americans and we can handle this tremendous problem coming to our shores. Once again, they just kept remaining very, very calm. They stood there holding their breath, some of their families by their side, holding their kids' hands. This is a, this, uh, we are going to band together as families. They did not run, but they stood squarely in place of where they were. So these people are going to be protected in place. Now that's kind of interesting because that's different than what I have been telling all my subscribers. And of course my subscribers are mostly Catholics. And we have been told that we will flee into the desert. Now remember, Jesus said that in the end times there will be two ways to survive. Like the days of Noah and as in the days of Lot. And Noah was protected in place. He built an ark around himself. Lot, however, had to flee. So what we are seeing here in Dana Coverstone's dream, I believe, is the Noah solution to the great tribulation. Verse number 10. The others, however, these are the Biden supporters, when they saw that wall, they were screaming, they were panicking, they were running. They had no place to go. I really don't believe the Biden supporters understand who they are voting for. This, they are clueless. They really can't believe that Biden's election is going to lead to socialism or communism. And that's why they are shocked at this blue wave inundating the country. And I could also see them just looking, pointed, making a fist, looking in the sky and cursing God. They don't blame themselves. Cursing the sky and the God that they believed lived there. So they believe in God. These are undoubtedly Christians also, probably good people. But they're ignorant. They've been fooled by the media. And the water was coming up to their knees. And people just kept yelling and screaming. So now in this vision, America is up to its knees in communism. This will be a very scary time for many people, especially those who don't see it coming. That's what this prophecy is all about. And it's, it's interesting that the people are blaming God for the election of Biden. And in a way, they are correct. God will appoint Biden as president. That's what this prophecy is all about. Why shouldn't this happen? God will appoint the Antichrist. We know that from Scripture. God will appoint the false prophet, and he already has, Pope Francis. So we shouldn't be surprised that he also appoints Joe Biden. 
Joe Biden as the leader of the United States is actually the only thing standing in the way of the Antichrist. So we shouldn't be surprised that uh, uh, God appoints Biden. And I believe that Trump and the United States are the only thing standing in the way of the Antichrist. That's why Trump and the anti and uh, United States has to be taken out of the way. And it's interesting that, and speaking of the false prophet, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Pope Francis, uh, in the last couple of weeks, has made two big public moves, and they were designed to hurt Trump. He came out for gay civil unions. That was get up, to get Biden off the hook with Catholics for marrying two gay men. That's one of the famous things that he did, his public relations. And the second thing Pope Francis did was to appoint Wilton Gregory as a cardinal. Wilton Gregory is located in Washington, D.C. He publicly criticized Donald and Melania Trump for attending a uh, honor at uh, the Pope John Paul II Memorial in Washington, D.C. So the Pope, by doing those two things, is telling us that Donald, that, um, Donald Trump is wrong, that he is not a good person, whereas Biden is, even though he marries gay people. That's what Francis is doing, and that's because he's the false prophet. Donald Trump is going to be our leader, I believe, in the future against the false prophet and the Antichrist, but it may very well not be as president. It will be as a religious leader. And verse number 11. And once again, the people holding their breath were just calm and relaxed. We know what's coming. So there were two distinct groups, those who were holding their breath and those who hadn't even tried to hold their breath yet. One group was running and caught off guard, the Biden supporters, while the other group was very, very, very calm. That's our mega group. We want to make America great again, but we lost the election to the people who don't have a clue, the Biden supporters. So um, the question is, where does this uh, leave all of the prophecies about Donald Trump saving America? Well, I think that we should look at Kim Clement's prophecy about Donald Trump and America, which he received on March 25th, 2012, in which he said, the woman saves America. Jesus does not save America. The church does not save America. According to Kim Clement, the woman whom he called Esther will save America. And I believe that prophecy follows this prophecy by Dana Coverstone. And so now let's read the conclusion of this hold your breath dream. We are in the group that must hold our breaths as the water of communism floods our nation. And out of the group holding their breath walked the man that I've seen in the previous dreams. So this, I believe an angel, comes out of the group holding their breath. In other words, the faithful Christian who understand what's happening in these end times. The white figure who always said, brace yourself, to the hospital internist or the person from the hospital, to the person who hung the bucket on the sap tap and among the maple trees. He walks out and he held up two fingers in his right hand and he said clearly, stay braced and don't breathe just yet. So once again, he held up two fingers, fingers and he said, stay braced and don't breathe just wet yet. So when can we breathe? Uh, Dana Coverstone is kind of leaving things up in the air, isn't he? Is he going to have another dream to conclude this prophecy? I believe this prophecy uh, follows immediately his data dream. The hold your breath dream follows the data dream. Will he give a third prophecy? And I don't know. This is interesting. If he doesn't, I'm telling you that it's Kim Clement's prophecy that will uh, follow this one. And I believe he does give the answers of what will happen to America 
post-Biden uh, victory. As we can see, Donald Trump is fighting three major enemies, all of them leaning left. The Democrats, the media, and the false prophet, Pope Francis. And I'm telling you right now, this is the warning that the Holy Spirit is giving to us through Dana Coverstone. It is going to make, uh, take a miracle for Donald Trump to defeat that evil combination.